the third generation of the Primera P144 series is the least common among the machines of this model. At the same time, against the background of competitors, the car attracts with its expressive appearance and low cost. So is it worth it to search for this car? This car was produced for only three years and is essentially a deeper styling of the Primera P11. The technical filling of cars is practically the same, but the appearance of the P144 is more expressive. The developers positioned the car as a separate, third generation of the model, which, in fact, was a cunning marketing ploy, the car seemed to be new, and much less money was spent on its creation. Like its predecessor, Primera P144, as an English pedigree, this model was produced in the UK, in the city of Sunderland, due to its pro-European orientation. By the way, two more closest Japanese competitors were produced in England, Honda Accord and Toyota Avensis. Primera is represented by three modifications, the most common four-door sedan, as well as a five-door liftback and wagon station wagon. Bodies P144 are not galvanized, however, thanks to high-quality paint and varnish and anti-corrosion coating, they are well protected. At the time of release, the manufacturer gave a six-year warranty on the body against through corrosion. The presence of rust pockets, as a rule, indicates a poor quality repair after an accident. By the way, you should beware of damage, body parts are rare in domestic showdowns. They have to be ordered, and they are not cheap. For example, the front fender is $120, the door is about $200. When buying a used car, experts recommended paying attention to the presence of two sets of native key FOBS and ignition keys. The fact is that they have built-in chips of the NAT's proprietary anti-theft system, immobilizer, which all P144s were equipped with, and if they are lost, other key FOBS and keys will not work, with their help it will not be possible to start the car. According to the specialists of the branded service station, most of the cars were brought to Ukraine by domestic ferrymen. The volume of official sales of Primera was small, which is explained by the rather high cost of the model at that time. However, there is no need to complain about the scarcity of her mince meat. Many cars are well equipped, there is a central lock, power windows and power exterior mirrors, an immobilizer, front airbags, versions with side airbags are often found, power steering and an adjustable steering column, climate control and ABS. Compared to the P11, the interior of the P144 hasn't changed much. It is adorned with almost the same instrument panel, which is distinguished by a different design of decorative details, a new instrument panel and a center console. The shape of the door cards is the same. Only the interior of the P144 is trimmed with new, more attractive materials. During lateral maneuvers, the front left pillar is in the driver's field of vision, although, according to the assurances of the owners, it does not block visibility. The range of engines is almost completely borrowed from its predecessor. These are petrol 1.6 liter and 2.0 liter 140 horsepower engines. The power of the latter is reduced by 10 horsepower due to the reconfiguration of the unit to meet more stringent environmental requirements, and a 2.0 liter turbo diesel. There was also a more modern, 1.8 liter 16 valve, 114 horsepower, equipped with an ignition system with individual coils for each cylinder and candles with platinum electrode tips, one piece, about $25. But, according to Menders, this motor also provides for the installation of ordinary, cheaper candles. More often there are cars equipped with 1.6 and 1.8 liter engines. It is these units that have proven themselves during operation as the most trouble-free. Their only weak point, as, indeed, of all other engines, is the camshaft and crankshaft position sensors. Experts recalled cases of their failure, because of which the engines did not start. True, when installing new type sensors, the problem disappears, both parts cost about $50. In addition, the timing of all engines, with increased noise, needs to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. True, according to Menders, this procedure is required infrequently. In a 2.0-liter gasoline engine, the timing chain tensioner does not differ in durability. It serves 100 to 150,000 kilometers. The failure of this part is accompanied by increased noise of operation. At idle, the ringing of the chain is clearly audible. A branded tensioner costs about $90. At the same time, the engine mounts may need to be replaced. The malfunction manifests itself in increased vibration transmitted to the body when the engine is running. Versions with a 2.0-liter turbo diesel are extremely rare. This unit, used on the first generation of Primera, 
P-10, proved to be unreliable, it often overheated, moreover, after a run of 100,000 kilometers, cracks often appeared in the cylinder head cooling jacket. Therefore, diesel versions have not received much distribution from us. All cars are front-wheel drive and equipped with two types of gearboxes. True, unlike its predecessor, the Primera, P144, replaced the classic automatic with the stepless CVT variator. According to the Menders, this unit has proven to be very reliable and, with proper operation, it serves without problems. Please note that it requires the use of only the original Nissan oil, designed specifically for CVT, volume, 4 liters, cost at a branded service station, about $90. It needs to be changed every 40,000 kilometers. The use of other transmission lubricants threatens to break the variator. But the mechanics, which were equipped with versions with engines of 1.6 and 1.8 liters, are not reliable. Experts recalled cases of gearbox repair with a run of over 150,000 kilometers due to the failure of its bearings. The oil in this unit changes a little less often than in the CVT, every 60,000 kilometers. The Primera suspension is highly energy efficient. An independent multi-link multi-link is installed in front, three levers on each side, and a semi-independent one in the back. The front one does not go for a long time, on average, it will have to be poured every 30,000 kilometers. Silent blocks of the upper arms and anti-roll bar struts have such a service life. The elastic bands of the lower arms last much longer, about 90,000 kilometers. Yes, and the maintenance of the front suspension is expensive, silent blocks and ball bearings are supplied with levers. For example, the upper lever costs about $120. It would seem that the rear semi-independent beam should be eternal, but experts recalled the problems with it. With frequent overloads of the machine or the wheels getting into large pits, the silent blocks of the beam fail. Structurally, these parts are non-removable, they are changed along with the beam, new, about $900. Service workers note that it will not be possible to get out of the situation by choosing alternative, gum bands, they serve very little and at the same time the rear wheel alignment angles are violated. The bill of lading and the replacement of the rear bearings, they change along with the hubs, one piece, original, $150. Bearings serve about 70,000 kilometers. Does not differ in reliability in steering. So, over time, the rack bushing and the gear rack pair break. The malfunction can be identified by a characteristic knock when driving over bumps. In addition, there have been cases of loss of tightness of the rail seals. Worst of all, steering is made non-separable and cannot be repaired, a new original rack costs about $1,000. Moreover, there is no way to separately replace the steering rods, but the tips are offered separately. By the way, similar problems with the steering are typical for other Japanese competitors produced in the UK, Honda Accord and Toyota Avensis. The popularity of the Primera, P144, is low, and this car is much rarer than its Japanese competitors. The reason for this is several important factors. First of all, this is a short period of production and the high cost of new cars, which, moreover, turned out to be not very reliable during operation. Yes, use P144s attract with their expressive appearance, more acceptable market value and lower price for spare parts than the rest of the Japanese, but before buying this car, you need to soberly weigh the pros and cons.